What's good, everybody? It's your boy Cafe. I'm back with another one. So let's get into it. Now, y'all seen the title, and I know y'all got questions. So I'm gonna break it down for y'all. And then once I break it down for y'all, I want y'all to leave your comments and what questions because I definitely want to have this conversation with you guys. Now, we all know recently that Taraji P. Henson announced that she was strongly considering leaving the acting industry because of the way that she's been treated. And then Terrence Howard, he left because of the uh, similar reasons. Now, I'm going to break down to y'all some of the things that they said has happened to them and then come back and give you my opinion. Starting with Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard was already saying that how he was being treated how he was not getting the money that he deserved for these film projects and for these television projects that was making tons of money off him, but he never really saw the money that he was supposed to get. Now, in one of the interviews, he did say that um, when he did Hustle and Flow, that he only got paid $12,000 for Hustle and Flow. That was it. That's all he got paid for that. But he did the voice in the songs for Whoop That Trick and Keep Hustling, those things. And he said that on the soundtrack, it said the songs were performed by DJ. But DJ, he was the he was DJ, and he was the voice of DJ the pimp. So with Paramount owning the DJ character. All the money from the sound, he didn't make no money from the soundtrack because that money went to Paramount. Now, I did not know that. I was shocked about that because if they was using his voice for the records, then yeah, that is on the line of royalties and he should have got royalties for that, but he didn't. He said $12,000 was all he saw and all he got from Hustle and Flow. And now Terrence has decided recently it came out that he's suing his former agency that represented him because they told him to take these acting jobs with less money. And he was totally fed up with that. So now he's like, hey, they owe me money and I'm suing them because they convinced me to do this. Now, going over to Raji P. She's saying the same thing, that she's fed up because she's not getting the money that she deserves and that she should be getting. She talked about when she did the curious case of Benjamin Button with Brad Pitt, how her asking price was for a half a million, but she only got a hundred and fifty thousand. And she was totally upset by that. And then she broke down and said, like, hey, you get this amount of money, but then you got to get taxes and then you got to pay your team. So when you look at it, what you're coming home with is not what much. That's what she says, much. It should be more. So now. Hearing these two people talk about what they were saying and drop some things and some examples, I'm going to give my opinion about this. Number one is I totally agree with them 100 percent that they should get paid what they uh, what they deserve and what they what they're worth is because, yeah, these are two people that's been in the game for a long time. These are two people that has done projects that has uh, generated tons and tons of money, and they should get some of that money. Absolutely, 1,000%. But also, I'm going to say this, because if you guys knew the money that you wanted uh, and negotiating to say, this is what I want, and if you was not getting what you wanted, then 
you should have stepped in this well i'm gonna say step in but you should have told your agent say hey if they're not paying me what i want then i'm not gonna do it you know hey if they're not gonna pay me what i want or at least pay me close to what i want then i'm not gonna do it but then also too i can see where they're coming from because if you say and stand by your asking price and if they don't uh and when they're not giving it to you then they can be labeled as being difficult to work with oh well, they're difficult to work with they're difficult to work with and we've seen that happen a lot too where they label people to, as being difficult to work with but I don't see it being difficult to work with when it's somebody that has a proven track record and they want what they deserve. It's just like in sports with NBA uh, players and athletes. When they come to contract season or come to free agent season, they're like, hey, this is what I want. And if they're not going to give me that or close to what I want, then no, I don't, I don't want it. I don't even want to sit down and talk to them. So now with all this come out, the question is this. Is Taraji P. Henson going to stand her ground and leave the industry? Is Taryn How I mean, is Terrence Howard lawsuit against his former agency? Will he be victorious in that? Will they do some type of settlement? Will he see any of the money that he was supposed to get that they owe him? That's the question being asked. We don't know. We just have to sit back and watch and see what happens. But you got to let me know how you feel about this. Do you agree with some of the things they're talking about? Do you disagree with some of the things that they're talking about? You know, let me know. Let's have this conversation. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned.